What's going on, beautiful people, and welcome back to Peace of Happiness 101. And today we have another phenomenal video for you guys. One of the main things that you're always gonna find people talk about is relationship. Everybody wants to be in a good relationship. After having money, going to school and do a bunch of stuff just to secure your future, the worst thing is to be alone by yourself not being able to share that with somebody that you love. Yes, family will definitely be around, but being able to be in a relationship where you have somebody who loves you, build up a family, and to build something just as powerful as staying together and get old together is priceless. Today's reality makes it even more difficult to find a good relationship. We have so many things to the tip of our fingers to the point where sometimes we don't even know exactly what to look for. Knowing how difficult it is to even be in a relationship. So today we're going to talk about four reasons to say that a long distance relationship may be exactly what you need right now. reason why you need to be extra careful as far as going out on a date right now is because of coronavirus. Let's face it, right now despite the fact that some states have been open and people are trying to get back into their regular lives, it's quite difficult to trust people because you don't know who has it. So if you could do it in a long distance way, find ways to talk to each other instead of having to meet each other every day, that could be a good way to start. The second best reason why I think a long distance relationship might be what you need right now is the communication level. When you are in a long distance relationship, the first thing that you can probably think about, which is the best line of communication, is your cell phone. Email, cell phone, Skype, all kinds of good stuff. The good thing about it, you get to situate yourself in a way where you know exactly what you want. No one is forcing you. You don't get to see the person every day. You get to really talk to the person. Get to know them every day. You don't have to be rushing anything. You don't have to be going crazy over anything. And the best way to really get to know someone is by communicating. And if you don't have the distraction of seeing the person every day, then you get to ask real questions. Questions that matters to the person. Questions like what are your long-term and short-term goals? Questions like do you want to have kids? Questions like what is the one thing that actually marked your life from when you were little until now? Deeper questions that's going to help you get to know the person better. And questions also that you probably will never ask the person if they were next to you. So a long distance relationship comes with a lot of good things. The third one, which is also a very good one, a long distance relationship helps you distinguish if the relationship is about love or just about lust. Because when you really think about it, when you have somebody physically standing in front of you every day, there's a lot of ideas that comes to our head. Regardless of how we try to hide it, a physical attraction is always important in a relationship. But sometimes some people choose to focus on that physical attraction more than anything else. By being in a long distance relationship, that helps a lot because you don't have to see the person every day. You already know your situation. So the best Best way to actually see the person is by going through Skype and Skype doesn't allow you to touch to try and do anything that you're not supposed to do while getting to know the person. So the mindset is a little bit at peace because you already know that you are fighting for something better than just physically. So at that point, you have to set your mind, okay, since I am in a long distance relationship, I'm gonna have to get things done in a way where when we get to see each other or when we get to talk to each other to spend the best time ever instead of having to constantly thinking about how the person is physically or how exactly we're gonna do it when we get to the bedroom. Because regardless of how we're trying to hide it, a physical attraction definitely is one of the worst temptations somebody could have within the process of dating someone new. And from that point, you're gonna understand if the person is serious or not. Because whoever is serious is gonna stay get to know you more instead of thinking about physical attractions or ways to get you to the bedroom. Because regardless of what you do, anybody who's willing to be in a long distance relationship is not here to waste time. Because if you are in Cleveland and I'm in Florida, but we still have a way to make things work, there's a good possibility that we could actually work anything. Long distance relationship is not a joke. I hope you guys really understand that. The fourth and final one, which is very important for anybody who's trying to get in a long distance relationship, is the time that you get to meet each other. Anytime you get to spend time with each other, those moments are priceless. We're talking about you not being able to see the person for an entire month or sometimes two or three months. And when you finally get to be with that person, you get to enjoy the person to the fullest. 
you get to really sit down and count every minute as if it was gold or diamond. You've talked so many things with that person. You've opened up about so many things with that person over the phone to the point where when you finally get to have a meetup one-on-one with that person, it's not about sex anymore. It's about getting to know and feel established next to that person. It's deeper than just being with somebody every day because long distance relationship allows you to do all those things and understand how valuable it is to have that person next to you even if the person were to move or you were to move to the person you always remember how difficult it used to be to be next to that person and even if you were to get in a bad term with the person there are ideas of things that you're gonna think back that's gonna make you realize that maybe it's not worth it after all the sacrifices that you've done for each other it's best for you guys to find the best way to work things out. Because regardless of what it is, the commitment that you're gonna build up in a long distance relationship, it's always gonna be different from a regular relationship. Because let's face it, you could see the girl every day. You could be with the girl every day. Regardless of you not thinking it, you could start taking the person for granted. But in a long distance relationship, every single moment you get to spend with the person is priceless. You get to really enjoy it and make sure that you enjoy it too. It's not just something that you get to see and you don't even pay attention to it anymore. When you know that it's time to meet that person, you will do anything in your power to make it happen. If you have to catch multiple flights, you don't want to be late. You want to see that smile. You want to sit on that bench, talk about all the stuff that you've been talking about. Being able to touch that person, being able to feel that person, being able to be around that person only will definitely sell the day. So a long distance relationship, especially in today's reality, where everybody is always constantly thinking about physical attraction, things that they want to do to somebody, is one of the best things. And if you are in a long distance relationship, trust me, I know that you are in a difficult path right now because there's a lot of things that are not as stable as they used to be. But trust me, keep going, keep building that trust, keep communicating, keep showing attention, Keep building those moments because at the end of the day, if you guys are in this commitment for real, the promised land is everything that was promised. Keep trying to make the best out of that relationship because it is completely worth it. And if you're watching this video, you wanted to get in a long distance relationship, but you were having cold feet, the first thing you have to understand is the best way to really get to know somebody especially in today's reality today's society doesn't offer anything much than trying to get you in bed in most situations but a long distance relationship will help you open that line of communication a long distance relationship will definitely help you distinguish somebody who wants to take you to the bedroom and somebody who actually wants to be committed to you. A long distance relationship will absolutely help you appreciate each other more just by being around each other. And a long distance relationship will definitely keep you from having a higher chance to get coronavirus. And one last thing I want to tell you guys, no relationship is perfect. Of course, you guys are gonna argue, you guys are gonna go through things, but the good thing about it is that you're gonna build your relationship with a good foundation. And that's really important. On that note, if this video was as informative for me to you, and if we've missed something in the process, feel free to comment, guys. Let us know exactly what you think about the video. Until then, take care of yourselves and enjoy. We'd like to thank each and every one of you guys who've been with us from the get-go. We appreciate the love, we appreciate the support, we appreciate all the comments on each post. And for those of you that are just coming in, we welcome you to the channel. Feel free to look around and don't forget to leave us a subscribe and hit the notification bell because we have so much more to show you. Until then, take care of yourselves and each other. Peace.